my heart goes out to them. I'm not, you know, I'm a parent, I'm a grandmother, I know how difficult this is. This is an extremely uncomfortable position for me to be in. You know, I don't like it, but I have to do what I believe right now is in the best interest of the kids until we can have some more research done or we can see what's happening in some of these other countries that have been doing this since the 70s. The governor said that she has sat down with transgender students and their families, and this is not easy for her to pass the ban, not easy for other elected officials who also supported it. Now, here is what the top Democrat in the Iowa House said today in response to those comments. The kids are the victims, the ones who now are scared to go to school because they'll get bullied because of who they are. The kids are the victims who have been targeted over and over and over again by this governor because she sees what governors around the state and the country are doing and she wants to keep up. When we see what is happening across the country and we see this governor following suit every single time, we know she is not the victim, she is the perpetrator. She is the person who is victimizing these kids each and every day by pushing for this legislation and bullying kids. Oklahoma and Tennessee both face lawsuits for their new transgender restroom law. Now, Iowa's law took effect today, so schools had to comply. Transgender students, with their parents' permission, can request accommodations for restroom use. That could include using a restroom designed for just one person at a time or a faculty restroom. Yeah, I, uh, I lost count of the number of statements we got from schools, Dave, saying how they're going to make sure that they're compliant, but that they're going to also listen to their students. So uh, an issue that we're going to be talking about for some time, it sounds like. Thank you very much.